It's an amazing feeling uh, to be back after 10 months and to be all together. The weather got a little cool on us here, but it's just so excited to have these teams back together competing. Got through three days and uh, we're off and running. Pat had a top 20 finish again, another consistent performance for her. and. Uh, She's always working hard, grinding. It was tough out there, and she really fought hard on that backside. Our freshmen did the same thing. We, we saw a lot of good things this week that we're going to take and move through the spring and, and build on that. I'm kind of proud of myself because like, I've worked really hard to like play like the home tournament. And I am just like need to work hard more and get it up. So I have to like more concentrate with my shot more and like more calculated with my approach. Yeah, because like when like it was downwind or like into the wind, we have to like add more club or like take it out with like that. Today was the worst day by far as far as cold in the morning. It was low 30s. We, we told them bundle up and I really told them this morning just to have a mindset of taking a break in between shots mentally. You know, a day like today, you can really beat yourself up mentally. And I just told them, sent them a message and said, hey, get away from golf in your head when you can. And they did great. We had one of the best rounds of the day, moved up the leaderboard, so super proud of them. I think it's good for us to play in these conditions. We don't get this very much in Florida. And I think this spring we're going to see a lot of these conditions, maybe even in the conference championship. It's up in North Carolina. so. It, it, there's nothing like playing in the cold and wind. You can't really practice for that. So I, I think it's a true test. It shows that we have some grit and uh, we saw what the team can do this week.